Thanks for your purchase of C Spire's home phone replacement device. At C Spire, your satisfaction is very important to us. So let's get your device installed so you can start enjoying it right away. Your home phone replacement, or HPR, comes with a power supply, owner's manual, LED line tester, antenna, and an RJ11 cable to plug the device into your home phone or wall jack. Your HPR might include a GPS antenna as well. First, let's connect the antenna. And if you have one, the GPS antenna. Next, we'll install the backup battery. While the unit runs on AC power, the backup battery will power the device in case of a power failure. Now, let's turn on the HPR and connect phone service to it. There are two ways to do this. Here's how to do the first method. Consider the location of where you want to position your home phone replacement. Windows allow greater reception and improve the performance of your HPR device. Next, plug in your HPR. Now, plug your home phone directly into one of the phone jacks on the front of the HPR. This method doesn't require the use of any phone jacks in your house. When you power on the HPR, it will register service with the nearest cell tower. Usually, this takes two to five minutes, but could take up to three hours. This is normal, and the signal light will stay on as long as the device has power. This light will be green or red. It should remain on and not blink once it is ready to be activated. Now, if you purchase your device at a retail location, your device is ready to use. If you ordered your device by phone or over the web, you must activate your device. To activate your device, dial star 228 slowly on your HPR phone handset. That's it, you're ready to make calls. Now, as I said earlier, there's another method to install your HPR so that it powers all the phone outlets in your home. This is more practical for homes that want to have multiple traditional phones connected to the wiring inside their walls. But first we need to test the phone lines to make sure the lines are dormant and not still connected to any other home phone service provider. If your phone lines are still connected to a service provider, it will block the use of your HPR. So let's use the LED line tester included with your HPR unit and plug it into a phone jack. If the tester lights up, that means there's still existing service coming into your home and will need to be disconnected. We'll do this inside the Network Interface Device, or NID. Landline service providers connect homes to their network at the NID. It's located outside in a gray box, usually found near the electrical meter. This is where all the wall jacks in your home are connected. To allow the HPR to power your inside phone system, we'll need to unplug the phone jacks inside the NID. This is very easy to do, but if you're worried about disconnecting the service, contact your old service provider to request they disconnect their lines from your home. Notice the part of the NID labeled Customer Access. This is where everything connects to your inside phone lines. Only use this portion of the NID box. Let's open the NID. Sometimes there's a screw holding it closed. Sometimes it's snapped together. Either way, it's easy. Most NIDs are similar to this one and use standard phone jacks just like the ones inside your home. The way they're laid out may be a little different, but the key components are the same. All that has to be done is unplug the wires from the jacks and the line should be disconnected. Now, if your home has an older NID, it may be that your lines are connected by copper wires held in place by screws or a push plate. Just loosen the screws and remove the wires. So now we'll go inside and retest the line to make sure service has been disconnected. With the landline now disconnected, the detector should not light up green when you plug it into a phone jack. 
This means there's no service going through the phone outlets and the HVR can be connected. If the tester lights up again, go back to the NID box to make sure everything has been disconnected correctly or contact an electrician or telephone technician for help. So now we can continue with method two. Plug the RJ11 foam cable into one of the jacks on the unit. Then plug the other end into your wall jack. Next, power up your device so it can register service with the nearest cell tower. Once the signal light on the HVR indicates the device is ready, it's sending a signal throughout the phone wiring inside your house, so you can now use any phone plugged into any wall jack inside your home. Again, slowly dial star 228 to activate the HVR. And that's it! Here are a few things to remember about your HPR service. The HPR will work up to five phones in your home and comes with voicemail. Unlike landlines, there are no long distance charges. Anytime you place a call using the HPR, you'll have to now make sure you dial the area code with the phone number. Since data is not carried with the HPR signal, DSL, modems, alarm systems, and fax machines won't work with this service. The HPR caller ID will display the phone number of an incoming call, but not the name of the caller. If you still have issues setting up your HPR, please call C Spire's customer care line at 1-855-C Spire 5. There's also additional information to be found at cspire.com. Thank you for choosing C Spire for your home phone service.